Hey buddies, Potato Big Whiskey here, and let's continue playing Europa Universalis 4 as the Jayanagar into Barra. We are integrating Golconda, and we are behind time and technology a little bit, but that's fine. We will catch up pretty soon. We're also, we're spending a lot of our points on integrating, which is okay. It's pretty expensive to do, but it will mean a lot of nice power for us. Let's go ahead, and I think I'm going to hold off on buying new military leaders for a while. Uh, influence over Gujarat has expired, so let's see what their trust is of me now. Yeah, I'd like to get their trust up that little bit higher, so I'm going to re-influence them. Because trust has an impact on their loyalty. And my vassals are starting to get pretty big, so their loyalty is becoming a problem. Let's see. Illichapur. Illichapur. It is core. I guess I could cede this to them. It's a very small province and it would make them happy. I don't mind if I don't have it. It's fine. Like, it's cool. You can have it. Sure. It's their core. I didn't realize that was their core. But I'm hoping they... Yes, they've started fabricating on Delhi. That's really, really good. We can probably attack Delhi soon. Um, I'd like them to fabricate one more claim on Umarkot. Let's see, can I see what their guys are up to? Let's see. Stagnation and drought in Chitraburg. Chitra. Derg. This would make me be able to develop this. This is hills terrain. Or I could help develop the um, coastal. I think I'm going to focus on coastal stuff. The Vashayas are nice and loyal. Actually, speaking of the Vashayas, I want to get demand. I'm going to seek their support. I'm going to demand diplomatic support because I need that power. And then I'm going to get money off them too. Because I have a lot of stuff I want to build. Namely, these nice things here. I'm building a lot of plantations. See, we've got a huge amount of plantations building, and we've got a huge amount that we still need to build. We've got some lands we want to develop too eventually, but right now things are coming along nicely. Let's have a look at our coalition map mode. People are a bit upset with me. So if I conquer... Uh, this stuff. What I need to do, I need to wait until I can have it all hold all this stuff. I want to divert trade from, um, Bengal. So if I own these provinces, I get a claim on the Malaya region, which is here. That's something we want to do eventually. Um, I might actually consider doing that now. They are a tributary of Ming, which I th think has some repercussions if I declare war on them. Got some particulars getting ready to rise up. Ah, we lose some sailors. That's okay. Golden Arrow of Kar Konlu. Hello. Ah, we lost our bad king. And we got a better king, and now we even have a better one. Uh, let's see. Core creation costs. I think I have so much money now that this trade, this tax modifier thing, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it is actually really, really nice. Because I bring my trade income up a certain amount. Um, but I think I'd rather maybe go for something like... Core creation cost and the aggressive expansion impact. Since I'm going to be expanding heavily. Let's go ahead and start fabricating on this guy. So let me double check, are my vassals fabricating claims? You are fabricating claims, really good job. Oh, I didn't I mean to give you those provinces. I might have, or maybe you only just claimed them. So I'm gonna start fabricating claims along here. Let's do it. Now these are hard to core, but it's okay. So, let's do lower Doab. 
Then we'll do Kala the Jar. And we'll wait till we have more of those. Looking forward to integrating Golconda. Taking a while. I could possibly speed it up by getting more Diplo points. But well, I think it's going okay. Okay, we can get our Miltech now. That's going to give us some military tactics and land morale, which is really, really nice. We also get access to the training field soon, which is a really good building. Artillery are going to get more fire, which I think around here, I think it's around 16 is when you want to go to um, full infantry. Uh, I want to have as much artillery as you have infantry, which will be 12 in my case. Go up to 12 infantry here. Ah, we can enact a government reform, so we can go Absolutism and Constitutionalism. Minimum Autar... Oh, we can get more states. Yeah, I think I definitely want to get more states here. The Minimum autar Autonomy in Territories is something we're going to be avoiding because we're going to be using a lot of vassals and client states. So this gives me more states, which is really nice. Is this really... So it looks like Spain has reached over here. Yeah, we need to start moving in on this territory ASAP before Spain really gets a foothold over here. Um, we're going to have to fight them for this stuff. So let's grab this stack, put them in this boat. And then get ready to declare war on the Khmer. I need a... Pull you back. My question is, will, ch will Ming... Ming will protect them. What about Malika? So I'd have to fight Ming. I have a huge tech advantage over Ming, though. Really, I don't. Wow, okay. Amazingly, they're actually doing really well on tech. It's kind of blowing my mind right now. Maybe I'll wait till I'm tech 16 or something. Yeah, um... Well, I have a permanent claim on those areas, so... I don't want to fight Ming yet. So, could I make some of these guys my tributary? Hmm, not really. I could possibly vassalize Miwar, actually. If I kept influencing this nation... So let's do Influence Nation on these guys to keep boosting their trust with me. Now we can do Forced March. Sure, we'll turn this into a state. Why not? And I guess we'll full core it eventually. I could probably upgrade more of these guys. Let's do it. More trade power for me. Golconda is being annexed. Let's convert the Maldives. Take a while to do. Let's double check that I'm not running any pointless uh, things here. I don't need that. I also don't need this. Let's run trade power. I don't need this. Seems like a waste. Uh, I think trade power here actually makes sense.
So once I have Golconda eaten up, I'll have 11% more of the trade power here. Ah, uh, let's see. I will not enforce Surf them. We'll lose a bit of legitimacy, which is fine. We have plenty of power projection for that. If I could fulfill more objectives here. Truces are ending. Truce is almost ended with these guys. Could fight Delhi. I'd like to get Miwar under my wing, though, if I were to fight Delhi. Let's, in particular, improve relations with them. Yep, I'll take a royal marriage from you. Got a new queen, very nice. Got some particularists. So they're gonna do something bad here. I'm gonna get our morale up. So they have... they inherit my discipline, which is annoying, but I get lots more morale, which helps. I could adopt a new idea. Aggressive expansion impact, that's going to be a good one to get. Even if it does put me a little bit behind in tech here. Because I'm integrating and doing all that other stuff. Um, I'm going to try and figure this out. Unjustified demands is nice too. Let's drill you. We are making so much money. Let's do a debate in our parliament. We'll play Kate. We'll ignore corruption. Take sides. Don't want to spend legitimacy because my legitimacy is quite low right now. There we go. Advisors are cheaper. These guys are really, really good for the price that I'm paying. It's incredible, actually, how cheap these guys are. Our truth with sinned. I'll lose the government reform progress because I've only got one more to do. So if I become a if I become a republic, I lose um, six reforms. But if I go for political absolutism, now there's a fun one. Let's keep getting manufactories. What is the next? Um, I think it's global trade, right? So global trade... The year is 1600. Coromandel is the highest value trade node in the world. It's pretty high value, but I doubt it's the highest. Is there a way to check that, I wonder? Let's have a look. Uh, trade nodes. Uh, I don't. So how could I share maps with somebody, maybe? Interesting. So I wanted to work on Japan. So I'm going to start subsidizing them. Uh, I'll go for disloyal printers. And I'll mind a little bit of that. I'd like to keep my innovativeness. Let's see. Interest per annum or stability cost modifier. Sure, I'll go for favoring the Brahmins. Because I actually do have a mission to bring the Brahmins up to 
maximum uh, influence and loyalty. Gain two base production in uh, Mudgal. Very nice. Just picking up base production here and there for free, essentially. Right, we're 40% done integrating my vassal. I do have a disloyal thingy, which is the Janes. Um, I'll leave them the way they are. We're losing our military leaders. We converted the Maldives, so now I want to get the Brahmins up to maximum loyalty. So I'm going to seek their approval. I'm going to recruit a minister. Then I'm going to grant them a province. Of like three quality. 1.2. That's fine. 1.2. There we go. Now we can do the temple. So until the end of the game, we get... Control F. Penu Conda gains uh, yearly prestige, yearly legitimacy, but it does have a penalty to uh, thingy. Cool. So that's really nice. We finished this, and now we can talk to them and say, "Hey, yo, give me, give me your admin points." And we are building a lot of many factories, let me tell you. Asking for money, diplomatic aid. Uh, I suppose diplomatic aid would be the one that I'd like the most. So that makes more sense. Very nice. Nice chunk of diplo points. So what I'm probably going to do... is take one of these provinces in a war. And then liberate Miwar, because they have a lot of cores around here. Use Miwar to retake a lot of this land here. And then I'll probably integrate Gujarat at some point, when they stop being useful. Uh, so do I clear war on this guy? So I don't need relations with me more anymore. You know what? I'm going to declare this war. I've got full manpower. I've got plenty of money. I have a free advisor slot. That's a mistake. Um, trade efficiency, go. But yeah, I'm essentially ready for a war. I could maybe, maybe get a bit more infantry or cavalry in this army, but we'll slowly build up that stack. Let's get these guys moved up to the front line. Why are you taking attrition? Stop taking attrition. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to wait till they finish this war. Then I'm going to like take a couple of provinces of Miwar, release them, and uh, just get them going. And use them as a way to attack Delhi. Okay, they took them over. Let's declare the war. We're going to focus on taking... Uh, Vaga... Probably Gorwar. You've siege pips. Go take out that fortress. You go hang out over here. You go hang out over here. Let's go down to a moderate speed 3. Keep building many factories during this whole thing. We're annexing, we're annexing. This is going to give me a huge amount of potential new fleet size as well, once I annex for Golconda. This fort should fall pretty quick. I could also breach the walls. I'd rather spend my points on... Um, on development, actually. So let's look for a province that has really, really cheap... development costs. So Kudalore... Could Alora is all the way down here. You have an Antropot. 
Give you a huge discount. Let's go ahead and do the Encourage Development. Bring you down even cheaper. Um, the only one I'm not going to spend is... The one that's actually really good here. Damn. I'm going to revoke this territory. Uh, and then I'm going to... The only one I really want to do here is Diplo. So that doesn't work. What about Kanchen? Kanchen... Or, um, nope. Pijapur. Pijapur. You're owned by the Vijayas. What about Paitra? You're owned by the Jains, but I'm going to revoke that. You get in position on this province. It's fine. We'll start developing this province. It's pretty cheap. Let's put in the... Uh, encourage Development Edict. Okay, we cleared that out. Let's spend... We brought up the 31. 31 is a good number. Lots of manpower. Lots of good stuff. Let's get that manpower building actually in here. For the uh, extra 800 manpower that this city will bring. Once this ticks down a bit, we'll be fine. It's because we have another tech coming in a few years. I figured it would be a good idea to spend all my points. Uh, at least most of them. So who am I at war with? It's a really good question. Okay, a few people I don't really care about. Probably just going to do a quick war with these guys. Do like a lot of split sieging, not worry about actually fighting battles, mostly just occupy terrain. Do a lot of occupations and then make our way up to these forts. Take them out too. Alright. Okay. A few occupations have gone through. Let's get these guys moving. Whoa. Get these guys all stacked up into 24s because Delhi has a 40 stack right now. And we want to do something about that. So G. G, 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 G. Let's go up to a big stack. Mega stack. Let's go fight him. Doing several thousand damage every day. We're getting full advantage of our cavalry on the flanks. Very nice, very, very, very nice. These are hard times, so you lose a bit of tax, that's fine. So we wiped out 20,000 troops already. Yeah, look at that. We completely demolished them. Alright. We'll slowly siege down this area. See if we can go hunt down this army and fight it. That's Fars. Yeah, you need to get in there and reinforce. Nice, we caught these guys. Should do incredible amounts of damage to them because they're probably behind in tech. Yep. 
we've got huge combat ability bonuses too. Let's see if we can knock fires out of this war real quick. They have only a single fort we're talking about. Would you get in there? Siege their capital, get them out of this war. Um, you occupied Marwar, did you kill this guy? These 24 stacks, they're dangerous, but, you know, much more dangerous stuff is starting to appear. I'm going to need to start adopting more artillery once I have uh, the things I need. I'm also going to have to start adopting um, infantry backup stacks to refill the front lines. Keep capturing these tiles. You just stay here because you're not ready to fight. Pick up the four cavalry there. Get this guy's desire to fight down. So here's what I want to do. I want to take these like three provinces for myself so I can make Miwar. Then you have a bunch of claims here. I'm going to give these to you. That's Gujarat. Maybe I'd be better off just taking a single province to release Miwar. And giving the rest to Gujarat. I got less aggressive expansion. I want all your money. And then I want war reps. So they'll probably fall to that pretty soon. Okay. You're heading all the way over to their capital to wipe them out of the war. Good job. We now occupy all these stuff. Let's go pick a fight over there. We should be able to do incredible damage. Yeah, look at that. Tactics, morale, discipline. Everything is just so high for my army. They are going to get reinforced, though. But we completely demolished them. Can you catch these guys? You five maneuver, you should be able to chase these. You. Go deal with this. Chase these guys? Come on, you should be able to catch them. Wait there, where are they going? Wait till they're locked. Get them. Battle of Delhi, we actually lost that fight. But I'd say we did a lot more damage than they did. You'll need more leaders. Boom. That's a pretty terrible leader to get. He'll do. We capture this stack over here. Nice. That'll keep them out of the fight for probably long enough for me to get this capital. Let's get another leader here. It's a little bit better. Let's look for some fights down here. Nice, we caught this stack unawares. Probably won't be a white, but it'll be a lot of damage. We've done 90,000 damage. Shift, consolidate, go hunting. Chase him down. Where's your maneuver?
Keep chasing, we gotta get him. Alright, we got this province back. Got this cavalry down with this guy. You're recuperating. We've got 20,000 men to replenish. Now we're gonna catch this guy out. It's exactly what we want. Boom, now that's the stack wipe we were looking for. Let's see if we can get over here and catch some of these guys out. Alright, let's have a look. So I want to take this province for myself so I can have me war as a vassal. There's a guy over here causing me issues. You go deal with that. You catch these guys? Oh, yes. Good catch. Get into Churu. See if we can hunt him down. We're gonna get a catch here. Nice. We caught half the stack on its own. Can you catch these guys? Just keep hunting them down. This is the problem with not having a lot of forts. I mean, it's hard to chase these guys down. They're locked in. Come on, catch them. Nice. Do incredible amounts of damage. Nice. That's the Siege of Shiraz down. Let's talk to this guy. Hey. You want out of the war? Give me money. You for real? Fires is out of the war now. Who else is in the war that we could deal with? Just these guys, but I really don't want to go up into the steppe. There's all this land up there that I have to deal with, and I don't want to deal with it. So you just come back down to Gujarat, and then swing up here. See if you can go looking for a fight. Same with you. Right, you head up this way. Manufactory. Boom. More and more and more and more. Alright, nice. We're gonna catch them. 22 noble rebels. I'll give them the... Sure. Riper is a really nice province for me, but you can have the autonomy. I really don't care that much. I mean, it's probably gonna hurt my force limit and stuff, but... Yeah, look at that infantry combat ability. Isn't it, isn't it a thing of beauty? Let's see if we can catch those guys here. Let's see if we can catch this army up here. You're doing good work down here. Looks like we're gonna catch them. You go siege down this fort. Look at all this. Look, look at this damage we've inflicted. 156,000 troops have been slaughtered in this war. Oh my god, it's brutality incarnate. Make your way up to Kashmir. Get that flipping. I think we can go up to speed 4 now that we're so far. Like, we're, we're clearly crushing this war. India might be a little bit overtuned, guys. Just, like, just a little. Um, they're a little bit strong. J just gonna say, they're, they're, they're a little strong right now. Might need a few targeted nerfs, you know? Just, just a few. Nothing major. Uh, so will you actually give me the peace deal that I want? No, demands exceed war score. It won't be that way for long. I'll get Gouge out of the war soon. 
once I ha have these two provinces, I'll go over and just get these guys out. Because they're, like, contributing very little. But they are making it harder for me to um, get the war over and done with. Get these two stacks. Oh, land movement's blocked by a fort. Lovely. Siege of Lahore. Split these guys up. Keep sieging them down. How are you feeling now, buddy? Oh, you're getting there. Only 50 reasons. That's an easy one to do. You just need to flip a few more provinces. Need to make you really know who, who's boss around here. Stability and Diplo power. Hell yeah, I'll take that. I'll invest. Nice and cheap. Keep me from getting those negative. Army's under attack. Basically wiped in a single day. Jammu is mine now too. We're now in control of these provinces. All right, how do you feel now? All right, now you'll take the piece, so... I'm gonna take a bunch of land, I'm gonna take a bunch of money. Cool beans, let's do it. Nice one. So, what I want to do is release a nation. Hello, Miwar, my little vassaly poo. Congratulations! You officially exist. And you have cores. Oh, the cores! Oh, they're everywhere! <laughs> I might just do a quick and dirty war with this guy to break up his alliances and take his um, cores back from me war and then I'll go for a proper war against him later. I mean, I have claims, but it's 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 not a big deal. I guess I could do the claim ward now and then break up his alliances later. Huh. Why do you have such a high liberty desire? It's still because I enforced a religion. Listen, just take your placation, okay? A bunch of money. Let's get some manufactories. Hey. We're starting to fill out our terrain of these manufactories. In fact, it might even be worth it to build some more of these production facilities now that there's uh, a good few manufactories on the board. Every time a manufactory finishes, it becomes more worth it to build a production building. Uh, so let's get all these armies back to my territory. You're all moving. Hey, you can get some cannons in here and turn this into almost a real army. Hey, we can purchase an ability. Uh, I like the idea of going for war score cost versus other religions. Hell yeah. So to form Barat, I need to take these three provinces from Sindh. Well, really just this one. I need this province from Jeanpur. I might just like snake in and take that. And then I need this from Delhi. All right. Sounds good to me. It's that time tick by. Somehow he's staying ahead of time in terms of technology, which is kind of blowing my mind. Diplo rep. Okay, that might speed this up a little. The Jane lose influence, that's fine. We want to do upgrades to the currently existing buildings first. But I do need to get another tech before I can do that. I think my vassal has the tech. 
That's why it's available to me. A little bit of artillery shock is nice. We are probably going to go and start going up to max that artillery. Um, it might be a good idea to get some regimental camps. It'll all be fine in the long run. My nation is crazy. Let's add a buildings button. Look at all these wonderful buildings. There's 1500 ducats. For an innovativeness point. Get out of here, you were old anyway. I'll take the uh, national unrest guy. He's quite young, I could boost him. I will boost him. I want those admin points. Let's focus on getting more... more of these. I'll wait a turn before I get this. This will give me the mill. Which is really nice. It's used in a variety of, uh, variety of places. If I check here. Yeah, see, most of these places need the Tech 16. These last really good value ones need the, uh, mill. Which we will shortly be providing once we hit the next era. Just waiting until this guy's annexed. I can integrate all these territories. Probably gonna wait. Wait till this guy's annexed before I really push for more wars. Um, what that'll do, it'll give a bit of time for this um, coalition outrage to bleed away. Really, I should have two diplomats working on outraged countries now. Promote this. Boom. We can now build the mill. Nice. A few of these production buildings would be good too. Royal Marriage from Miwar. You should be able to handle that. You have an army. Still stealing a good amount of trade from over here. So let's get our final stack fully fitted out. And now we need to get these stacks upgraded to my full combat width of uh, 29, which means um, 29 artillery. And 25 infantry. What's my flanking range right now? It's a really great question. How do I tell that? There is a way. I mean, eventually we're just not going to use cavalry at all, so I don't know why I'm bothering. Like we're probably better off not using cavalry now. In fact, they're probably just expensive. For being better at killing small stacks. You know what? I'm just going to get rid of cavalry. Wait, do I have the get manpower if I disband thing? No, not yet. I'll wait until I have that. Well, marriage from Gujarat, that's fine. We'll advance miltech. Boom. Artillery advancement, very nice. Uh, dive out cavalry, chamber demi cannon. Ach, barriered musketeers. Hi. 
Right, we're about not too long from this guy being done. In those admin points, those are nice. Got some particularists getting ready to rise up. Where? In Sambalpur. Sambal. Why are you upset? No, you're controlled by the Jains, and I decreased your autonomy. Hey, get over here. Protect that. Well, I guess you're kind of far away. You get over there. I can't wait to redo all my forts once I once I annex this guy. That's going to be part of the fun for me. I'm building a spy network. I guess I may as well fabricate claims on this guy while I have the power to do so. Uh, let's grab Bilsa. Let's grab Salgor. I suppose I should declare war on him soon. I have plenty of claims. Like... Yeah, I have plenty of claims. It's time to declare war on jean -Pierre. When is our truce up? Truce is up. Gonna declare war on this guy. I'm gonna wait... Until this is done, because it's only going to take another year. May as well drill all these armies in the meantime. So five stacks is what I'm happy with so far. Because that's how many leaders I can have. It's expensive to maintain those, but... Um, once I get up to a professional army, they'll be cheaper to maintain. Oh, hello. be able to wipe them without even needing to get morale ticks. Like the drilling there. I don't want you to take attrition. Get these guys to move in soon. You get over there. You stay here and conquer that. Get some more of these production buildings. Cool. Let's get another manufactory. Trade value is getting out of control at this point. We have another debate available. Uh, I should have been running this Diplo annexation cost. Damn it. Damn it. I knew I messed up. Uh, land maintenance modifier is good though. Too bad this guy's too old to really justify. Turn these all into states. We have a look here. Alright, nice. We fully integrated that land. We do need more seats of parliament. And... We do need to hand out this territory. So let's have a look at the trade map mode and see which of these trade nodes. Uh, this needs to be upgraded for sure. There's also an estuary here. <sighs> okay. Somebody is pulling a lot of trade this way. I think somebody is using all my trade power to pull this up here. So I think it's actually more efficient for me to recall this merchant and place him over here. And transfer my trade power down to my own node. We have more important matters than what my legitimacy. Where's my merchant? Go transfer trade power here. Yeah, that's more like it. Hey yo. Now we're pulling the real boy money. Look at that. Incoming 24 ducats and 24 local ducats. Even 84 power share. I could go protect trade up here. 
Um, that would potentially boost me up. I didn't get upgrade these ships actually. It cost me a thousand gold. You're pillaging here. You're getting me 3.6 ducats. I think it's actually worth more to go and protect trade in Bengal. Oh man. Gotta convert this territory. Uh, seats of Parliament, right. Seats of Parliament, Seats of Parliament, Seats of Parliament, Seats of Parliament. Let's look at the development map mode. Damn it, no. This place is fine. It has autonomy decreased. It has no estate. It has good autonomy. It has good development. We'll put a seat there. Nadia. We need three more. Here's another viable candidate. You're reasonable. I'd like to put it here, but this is a natural harbor. So it might be better to put in something else. Although, it does give like a, a boost to all this stuff. The trade value increase is just so nice though from the uh, from the other guys. Estuary for sure though. Wherever that is. Where did that, wait, where's the estuary? Wait a minute. Okay, I gave it to here. Development map mode. Right on per, you can be a seat of the government, sure. Then Gorka, you can also be a seat. And Vishnapur, you can be a seat. So that covers all my seats of parliament. Which should keep me from having too much trouble. Cool. Uh, so it's probably going to be next thing that we do is declare war on jean -Pierre, take a big chunk of their land, and continue to develop nicely here. Uh, these guys have some claims and cores that we're going to go ahead and steal. So let's get this war declared. They are calling a bunch of people. Oh, hello. Hello, map. <laughs> uh, hi. Hello, trade nodes. Let's look through. Oh, am I the most valuable trade node in the world? <gasps> I'm almost the most valuable trade node in the world. Oh my god. Wait a minute. Oh, Coromandel. Yeah. Wait, where's Deccan? Wait, why don't I have a majority in Coromandel? Doesn't make any sense. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Yeah. In Deccan? Where the hell is Deccan? Coromandel is the highest trade power. Is the highest value trade node in the world. The hell? Whatever. I don't even care. <laughs> so we're going to declare this war next episode. We're going to kill Jean Per. Let's save the game here. We're making it through some pretty good years. Uh, the game is, you know, I wouldn't say slowing down, but, uh, you know, the late game, the late game tends to be a little bit slower and we're heading firmly into what I would call like the pre late game. Um, I like to think of the late game as basically admin 17 to 20. We're definitely in like the mid, mid late game. And I feel like the late game for me starts around admin 20-ish. And that's when stuff can get real crazy. Particularly, I'm really excited for this development efficiency because I've been doing a lot of development throughout this game and saving another 10% points means that I just get more score and I have plenty of these points to invest.
a really cool thing is that my country I've never actually gotten this big as a country before like this is crazy <laughs> this is le legitimately insane how huge I am like even the Ottomans like I'm holding a candle to the Ottomans right now which is insane considering where I am and you know the tech and stuff like that in terms of Things are going to start speeding up. I'm not going to need to do development for stuff like global trade. That stuff's going to spread a little bit quicker. I might do a little bit of development just to make sure it gets to me a little bit quicker. Um, but for sure. Why is this appearing here? Ah, capital country with dip tech. 15. I also... I want to make friends with Japan. So I'm going to go ahead and give them some subsidies of for 400 years essentially forever basically of not too much but i'm thinking like 10 ducats thereabouts i'll give them a, a subsidy of five ducats a year maybe a little bit less of four ducats a year for basically the rest of the game And the idea is, I'm going to use them to fight Ming with me and expand. I need to get them united and get into work. Um, I'll be improving relations with them. All that stuff. So that I can do that. I'm also going to influence them, I think. the target at rage countries come back I'm going to influence them and what that should do is slowly build up their trust with me until they feel like the alliance makes a lot of sense I'm going to set my attitude to them as friendly boom I'm setting them as friendly hopefully they'll set me as friendly lines over from Tsang how many cores do you have oh hello Tsang why yes would you like to be my vassal Tsang you're gonna become my vassal Guess what? Wait, do I have room for a vassal? I don't. <laughs> yes, become my alliance. Oh, yes. Let's improve relations with you. Uh, I'm going to pull these back from John Per. We're going to influence you. Boop. And then I'm going to... There's global trade. I'm going to send them a gift of 25 Ducatis. And then we will offer them a vassalization and then I'll end the episode. Oh yes, look at this. We have yet another vassal to press even more of our claims in the north. Take control of Tibet. I'm so excited for this campaign. This campaign is going amazingly well for me. Like I'm just getting everything I want. Sadly, the Age of F Reformation is ending. I could start a golden era. I won't. Um... Well, now is actually not a terrible time to do a Golden Age. But I really want to do it, like, just as the air is ending, if I'm going to. Um, so, what do I need to think of here? We've got a lot of things happening. I'm working on making friends with Japan, so I can turn Japan into a superpower. They're getting occupied by Yamana. I'm sending them a bunch of money uh, to try and keep them happy. In fact, let's go have a look at this name. Uh, of countries, country. Where's Japan? J, 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 J. Japan has a bunch of money because I gave them money. Plenty of manpower. Good on text. I'm giving them ideas. Power of production. I think I do want to do knowledge sharing with them. 
Where is that? It would be in a deficit if I did that, but that's okay. Um, so, thinking, words, global trade. What are we going to do about the dis this institution? Well, having the printing press helps. We're going to get it really, really quickly, so I don't think I actually need to do development for this. Because we have trade nodes everywhere. Where's that? This one. Like, it's 3.76 per month. That's crazy. You know what I mean? Like, we're getting it so quickly, it probably doesn't even need to be um, anything that we do. It's gonna, it's just gonna appear here in my country. You know what I mean? Like, I love how you can see the contrast. Here's, like, the European bias of the game. These guys all have this, you know, really strong printing press, all that sort of stuff. And then you go look at me. And here am I. Getting all of it everywhere. Feels good, man. Feels real good. Uh, but I'm going to call that the end of the episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.